Well, welcome back. We're in the CARE 11 backyard and due to the pandemic, Kagan Case had to close, but they're actually reopening today. And we're so excited to have Brian Ingram, a good friend of the CARE 11 News Saturday show. You've been quite busy, sir. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. I'm thrilled to be here. It's great. Now, you have a number of things going on. You have the Kagan Case opening today yep. with the restaurant that used to be in the In Bloom area, and that is called? Wood Fired Cantina. Yeah, so the largest wood burning hearth in the country. That yeah. opens today. Opens today. And then you said, of course, you've been very busy and doing great at the Hope Breakfast Bar yep. and also at the Happy Gnome. Yeah, absolutely. And then we got purple ice cream, the, the All Things Purple in Minnesota. So we've got that opening today as well. At Keg and Case. At Keg and Case, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, we're so happy to have a live guest. So tell me what you're making here. Yeah, so whole chickens are great to grill. So the easiest thing to do is to pull that spine out of a chicken so you can just lay it flat when you're grilling at home and you're cooking for the family. And I was just gonna show real quickly how easy it is. You just kind of pull that back out. So we just kind of go down both sides, pull it out. Really sharp knife, it Really sharp like. knife helps, yep. yes. Oh, I see, okay. So you just pull that out. And now we can grill our whole chicken. We can lay it flat and it makes it super easy for grilling. Oh, that's and that'll fabulous. get you where you've Ooh, got here. So this, this is our charred chicken that we do at Wood Fired Cantina. We serve it with tortillas, all these different salsas, and it's just a lot of fun to do. So the whole chicken, when you're going here, now instead of having this giant chicken on the grill, you just have your whole chicken. So how, okay, so how long does that take? So this only takes about 15 minutes. You're doing about seven and a half, eight minutes on each side, depending on how hot your grill is and then closing it so you get that direct heat. And what did you do and for seasoning on that? So you can brine them, you can do anything you want. We brine them with beer and some chipotle chilies and then we just kind of do some adobe salt that we do in it. So. Oh my gosh. And then we send it out whole to the table and you make tacos at your table with your family. Oh, that's fantastic. And yeah. it's such a beautiful space. Yeah. You know, you you have just really done so much for the community w through the Hope Breakfast Bar and your other facility, or your yeah. other places. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we have our nonprofit called Give Hope. So throughout the pandemic, We've given away about a million dollars in uh, product from groceries for people that could come in for free and shop to about 100,000 meals that we just delivered to any family in need free of charge. Oh my goodness. And then right in front of that beautiful restaurant, which is of course the oldest firehouse in St. Paul, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. You have closed the road and so then you can sit, what, Leeds, 100 people? Yeah, Leach Street is closed. So we have an additional seating for 100 people. And the city of St. Paul has been so good to us and frankly, those type of things have allowed us to do our give back. We wouldn't have been able to do it without that kind of support. Well, congratulations to all that you have done and thank you thank so much. You. We so appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, so it's time to try yeah, some chicken. Yeah, let's try some food. Let's do it. So I'm gonna just throw this down. We're gonna grab our whole chicken here. And next hour, Brian's gonna make a tomahawk steak. So we're not gonna let him leave. We're gonna go ahead and uh, and make him stay and make us another, uh, another meal, which we're excited about. So I'm gonna bring this right over to you. So okay. we're gonna have our tortillas. Fabulous. We've got some radish, some cilantro. Oh, I love the radish. And then we have some avocado salsa. Oh, so wonderful. So basically what you do, I'm gonna get you some forks and knives. You just kind of with your family, again, you can just pull off pieces of chicken, put it on your tortilla, and then add any of the toppings that you oh. want. Well, I'm going to get it all ready for Dave. I so yeah. appreciate it. This is uh, this is fabulous. And then, you know, if folks are going to be doing chicken like this, do, yep. did you go like a high heat or what kind of? Yeah, so I go high heat to get that crispy that everybody wants to eat. And then I turn it off and I go indirect heat. So I leave half the grill on and half the grill off and just push it over off the heat, direct heat so it doesn't burn on you. Great. Well, congratulations on the opening of Keg and Case Thank and your you. restaurant there. And of course, if you want this recipe, just text recipes to 763-797-7215. Brian, thanks for sticking Thank around you. as well. We've yeah. got tomahawk steaks in the next hour and we'll be right back in just a few minutes.